Gohan, now it's my turn. I think you're finally starting to learn to control your power. I think so too. What are you doing, Gohan? You need to get angrier! I'm trying, I promise! This is great, Gohan! You're well on your way to surpassing me! Surpassing you? That one actually hurt, Gohan! Gohan, that was incredible. Don't ever forget what that felt like. Right. Uh, but, Dad, we're probably gonna need more time before we go beyond Super Saiyan, don't you think? I mean, come on. I just learned how to become one. So I have no clue what I would even do to go further than that. I think I just might know what to do about that. Huh? We just need to get our bodies used to staying in the Super Saiyan form. What do you say? Think the two of us can manage that, Gohan? Staying in the Super Saiyan form? Yep. We treat Super Saiyan as our normal state of being, do you understand? Anytime we're awake and moving around, that's the form we'll be in. First, we'll learn to control the more emotional aspects of the transformation. That makes the most sense, right? Then, once we do that, we'll start our training up again from the basics. This could work out. I know it's not exactly straightforward, but I really think this is our best shot at going beyond Super Saiyan. Uh, okay. After informing Trunks of the tournament, Cell constructed an arena in a nearby deserted area. He then forced his way into a TV station and via live broadcast delivered his terrifying message 
to the entire world. His tournament, known as the Cell Games, would be open to all and begin in just nine days. Cell then declared that if all participants were to fail, he would eliminate all known life on the planet. In order to prove that he meant business about his threat, he easily reduced a section of the city to rubble. Cell's ultimatum proved effective in its purpose as the world had become utterly gripped in fear. Recent peace had weakened army and police forces, now powerless to confront the new enemy. People had already seemed to have forgotten about the young boy who had stopped the evil demon King Piccolo. They were also unaware of Vegeta, the Saiyans, and the others that fought Frieza on Namek. Goku was no more than a long-forgotten memory. Damn that Cell! This is just a game to him? No way! I can't believe he actually went on television and told everyone! If none of us can beat him, he's going to kill everyone on Earth! And now the whole world is panicking. I hope Goku and Gohan are almost done with their training. There are still three hours left before the full day is up. <laughs> no guarantee they'll come out after exactly one day. No need to rush. We've got nine days until the games. Huh? That's Goku and Gohan's energy. Are they out already? What? What are they... What are they doing out this early? What? Vegeta and Trunks? You guys are here too? Cell must still be alive. What happened? I can still sense his energy. Huh? That's Gohan. He looks so different. What? They're... They're still Super Saiyan? Wait, something is different. They seem calm. Someone get us up to speed on what's going on. Uh, right. Here's what happened. The Cell Games, huh? So, he's holding a tournament. Honestly, that sounds kind of fun. Mr. Popo, you still got my uniform? Oh, yes, I have it right here. Mr. Piccolo, I'd like some new clothes, too. Sure thing. You're gonna look real good in this. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Piccolo. So, tell me, think you have what it takes to beat Cell? Not sure. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting him in this perfect form of his yet. Actually, I'll go do that now. Hmm... There we go. Oh, it's Goku. Yep, in the flesh. So what do you think, Goku? Are you willing to let the fate of your world be decided in this ring? Kind of small for something like that, wouldn't you say? <laughs> so that's your perfect form. Yes, yes indeed. You can count on me being here for the tournament. But until then, don't go killing anybody. Not one person, got it? We're gonna have a great match. Hmm. 
Man, he's gotten way stronger than I thought he would. So, Goku, what do you think? I'll be completely honest. I didn't think he'd power up as much as he did. Okay, so... I won't know for sure until I fight him, but... I'm probably not going to be strong enough to beat him. Uh, no way! Then just go back into the hyperbolic time chamber. We've got the time. Nah, me and Gohan will train outside. We got nine days. We'll figure something out within that time. But why? You still haven't used up a full day. Why in the world would you waste one of the two days of your life you're allowed inside that chamber? Because that place can really put your body through the ringer, if you know what I mean. We well, well. Look at that. Even the mighty Kakarot wasn't nearly tough enough to handle the room. Fine. You might be right about that. But training there anymore wouldn't do us any good. But don't let me stop you. If you guys want to head back inside, go right on ahead. Besides, it looks like you could use some more training. What? You have some nerve. You don't actually think you're stronger than me now, do you? Don't make me laugh! Yeah, a lot stronger, actually. What? All right. Keep at it, you guys. See you all at the tournament, okay? Gohan, let's go. Oh, right. Only nine days remained until the Cell Games tournament. Goku and Gohan returned home for some well-earned rest after their intense training. Here's the plan. We'll rest for three days, train for three days, and then rest another three. How does all that sound? Dad, uh, are you sure that's okay? You think we can beat Cell? Trust me, we'll be fine. Goku, I need you to come back to the house. Huh? Chi-Chi?